What is up, Alien Army? I am Oculus, Oculus, the alien alien next next door, door. purveyor Purveyor of of esoteric esoteric lore. lore. And on this channel, we discuss everything out of this world. Today's topic, really, really quick breakdown before we get into picking a symbol. This message is specifically for those who are resonating with one or perhaps all of the symbols that are on the screen right now. If you are not resonating with any of these symbols, if they just don't call to you, please find another video to look at on YouTube if it so behooves you because the messages that are going to be conveyed here, I am guided to let you know that it is the message that one is ready to receive only if one has resonated with a symbol on the screen. All right, so uh, we're just going to do it how we always do it. Group one, group two, group three. So if you want to look at all of them, there might be a message for you in all of them. This is, you know, general. I don't even know what topics are going to come out yet because this is impromptu. I was just guided to do this. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I guess I will too. Timestamps will be listed below and I will see you in your reading. What is up group number one? Those of you that chose this lovely guy right here, we are going to be finding out what's going on, what the universe wants you to know now. So let's just, um, I have a whole bunch of decks, both tarot and oracle in front of me. So I'm just freestyling this one. All right. So if you look at all the groups and all the groups are different, you'll know that, um, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely know that this is truly freestyled. Okay, so here we go. So let's see what the universe wants you to know. All right, so we have, I'm not going to read any reversals. We have, and I was just guided for this particular deck, so if I do read a reversal in another one, just know that this is totally, totally just what... I'm being conveyed right now. So everything, all of the card meanings might be different. Some might be reversed and others might not. I just, just a heads up. Okay. All right. So we have cruelty. We have uh, nine of swords. Okay. So, wow. All right. Nine of swords going on here. So you guys are worried about something. Definitely in your head, something is going on with that. Let's just get... All right, we'll take two because that's what popped out of these guys. Magic and belief. Wow, 31 and 11. So some of those might resonate with you. Some of these symbols might resonate with you. Um, But what I'm seeing now is that you are about to be offered the magical solution to whatever uh, quote-unquote dilemma you find yourself in. Uh, You really... um, I feel like this has to do with something that was like a quote unquote worst case scenario that occurred for you and you created the situation precisely that you were afraid of. So I'm not getting a strong pull that it was uh, something of let's say a relationship setting or career setting or anything like that. Um, I'm, so it could apply to all because I'm not getting a strong pull towards any one of them. But this is definitely a situation that you were worried about. And as I said, worst case scenario. And then something like that seemed to appear in your third dimensional experience. And because that thing appeared in your third dimensional experience, the thing that you were so concerned about happening, um, it it showed itself, but it didn't show itself in its entirety, okay? It just sort of showed you that something that you were immensely, and this is something that already happened, okay? I do want to clarify. It's not something that's going to happen. This is something that has already occurred, but it has not occurred in its entirety. What happened is that you were quote unquote expecting something bad you because you were thinking it okay for whatever reason you were thinking a worst case scenario and then a piece of that came about okay uh so 
this is not saying that the entire ship is going to sink. This is saying no matter what it is, that you saw a snippet, you saw a sort of coming attraction, do you choose to see the movie play out from here on out, or do you recognize that is a, a coming attraction for a thought that you were already thinking derogatorily in this topic, okay? A snippet of that appeared in front of you for you to worry about. That's what happened, okay? It is not going to happen. It already has. Whether it happened two minutes ago, two days ago, two weeks ago, two years ago, and you never got over it, it already happened. And you are at odds with yourself right now because you, at least in regards to this particular situation, which is nameless because it's different for everyone. Because of this particular situation, you believe that you are either stuck in this place or you are unworthy to move forward from this place or you feel scared. What if I move from this place and things turn out better than I expected? I am unfamiliar with that. Therefore, the ego wants to keep you entrapped in this worry. But you've already seen a snippet of it. And if you are in this worry right now, even if it's something that occurred a while ago, and here we have, look at this. In this deck, this is strength. Here it is labeled lust. You right now have the power to create magic from your own belief system regarding whatever topic this is. This is something that you, you've already gone through it. Do you know why you've received a snippet of it in your reality? Because you were thinking about it so much in your mind that you created it from the magic of your belief in that and it was derogatory, it did not serve you. So, for you, what to do right now is really to create a new story regarding whatever the motherfuck this is. Whatever situation that you, and, and this is how you'll know that it's this particular situation. Because you, you might have mistaken this situation for your intuition. Because it's something that you thought about from a fear perspective. And then a snippet of it befell you. This is a situation that caused you to doubt your own ability to manifest whatever the fuck you want in this third dimensional environment. Okay, so that, that's really what to break it down, to narrow it down to the situation. Okay, this is a situation that uh, it, it wasn't random, it wasn't out of nowhere. It was something that you predominantly had more fear vibrational thoughts regarding rather than love vibrational thoughts regarding. That is what happened here. And you confuse that with your intuition, which the intuition will never guide you from a set point of fear. It will not do that. So somewhere in this melange of I don't know what the fuck happened, you were believing that you did not have power in your environment because something that you didn't want happened. But when you look back on it, it's something that you quote unquote conjured up by thinking about it. So this is something that worried you, something that happened. And it fucked with your belief system somehow that you believe that you might not have magical powers even though you seem like you have and you know like you have and you act like you have magical powers in other areas or other situations. Maybe this is like a one-time thing. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm not getting any, like I'm getting totally neutral energy regarding what this pertains to because I feel like there are going to be a lot of different situations. And so, but this is something, you'll know this is a situation I'm talking about because you, you feel like that you don't have any creative powers in the third dimensional realm because if you did, you wouldn't have conjured that situation for yourself. But because you conjured like a snippet of that situation, then what happened 
is that it presented itself to you to prove that you do have the magical power of creative belief. Okay, so let's see how to work around this because I feel like you're coming out of this cycle and you're ready to step into your power. Okay, boom. Number 31, home. So with this card here, you have to come back home into your heart center where your heart is totally at peace. Get your Anubis on where your thoughts feel as light as a feather regarding this situation. Because I feel in this situation, your Kundalini energy has raised to the consciousness enough that it will never experience that lower vibrational energy again in for that particular area, whatever it is. You are not going to repeat a pattern. You are going to remain grounded at the same time spiritual, reclaiming your heart center, which I feel might be out of balance. And the heart uh, chakra is uh, the middle of the seven lower chakras, right? We have chakras one, two, three. Then we have uh, five, six, seven. But in the middle is what? Four. Okay. Ooh, three plus one, four. Hmm. Hello. Thank you, universe. What's up? Okay. So this is really to say to you, um, and come back into your heart center about this, uh, whatever you have to do. And, you know, I'm not going to go into like a, what you should or shouldn't do regarding this situation, but whatever you are guided to do that allows you to feel good, to feel light, to feel like air about this situation, uh, where your heart feels as light as a feather when there's no worry or any, you know, nonsensical emotion, lower vibrational energy type of emotion associated with this. That is what you need to do. So whatever example, let's say it's even listening to music to get your mind off it. You, that's what you want to keep doing more of to return balance, um, to this situation. Okay. Let's just see if there's anything else emergence oh shit number 11 number 11 we got the 11 11 portal thank you universe i love it when the cards do that all right and then we have look creation creativity and then we have resurrection magician look and then we have magic and magician thank you universe i fucking love this is why i like doing this shit mm -hmm, that's right because the universe just shows me they're like what's up okay so you are about to emerge fresh from this situation. This situation is done. Uh, it's already done everything that it can. It showed you that you actually are magical despite what you are thinking because you did kind of, well, not kind of, you did create a situation or at least a snippet or a trailer of it that you didn't want. I don't feel that the whole situation played out exactly as you imagined it to in your mind, but something like that did happen. And the thing with uh, the Nine of Swords energy is that you always want to remember that things in your mind, in always in every situation, if you are imagining something uh, awful, it is always going to play out worse in your mind than let's say if something along the lines of that situation that you were imagining plays out in your third dimensional experience. Okay, the mind uh, is is really a trickster. And if you stay too long in there, then you are going to start walking around in a fun house with a whole bunch of different mirror reflections and none of them is really you. So what's happening is that this is a time that you have already um, cocooned and butter butter butterflied your way out of this experience. It's done. It's over, right? It already happened and it happened in a way where what you imagined in your mind was far worse than what it actually happened. So I think during the time that this situation happened, you kind of, you were just like, you were like a little in awe. You were like, but you, you imagined it, but it didn't feel as crazy as it did in your mind when you were conjuring bits and pieces of it, okay? And this is showing you that you are done with this chapter. You are over this paradigm. Like, everything is really yours for the taking now in regards to this situation. Like, um, this has nothing but proved that you are a master manifester. You are a master creator because you did create the situation. And that's your evidence. It's not that your intuition predicted it. It's like you conjured it up from a fear vibration and a fear vibration is going to take longer than a love vibration to manifest into third dimensional physical form. But what happens is that, um, the fear vibration still manifests, right? The love vibration still manifests. That's why when your heart is completely a true neutral, meaning your heart chakra, meaning that you feel open, 
um, and receiving, accepting, and light as air in your heart center. You could feel this in your physical body. What's going to happen is that those things that you're thinking of and you're maneuvering around in your mind from that light space, that Anubis, your heart is as light as a feather to enter the gates of heaven. Them shits are going to manifest like psh, automatically, sometimes before the thought even finishes in your mind. And if you're vibrational shit, that shit still manifests too. But it's going to take a longer time. But because it still manifests, it can sometimes disillusion someone into believing that they don't have magical powers because if they did why would they have created something negative but they can create any motherfucking thing they want it just depends at what state they are operating from when they are conjuring what they wish to experience on the third dimensional plane and you are past that okay you are done you have already stepped into your power and look the world literally thank you universe okay so we have the healing energy here we have a lot of like reiki type of energy so that may resonate with some of you but this man you have the world the world is your oyster everything is complete this cycle of nonsense fear thought those, those type of lower energetic vibrations that shit is bye okay you are about like Mm, your kundalini is raised and you're just like you're you're only accepting things that you know that are going to feed your soul and not uh manipulate your mind so that's all i got for you guys group number one i'm oculus the alien next door we will chit chat again soon what is up group number two those of you that chose this lovely fellow right here whichever way you want to look at it that's fine we are going to find out what is the message that universe source has for you so let's get started. And I do just want to say that I'm freestyling every motherfucking aspect of this because, um, you know, that's how I was guided to do for this particular reading. So for some cards, I might be reading reversals. For some, I might not. It just really depends. I'm going to be using different decks depending on what I'm guided towards. So yeah, like if, if you looked at all of these readings and they're all different, I'm just, you know, I'm letting you, you guys all know that. So let me just wait for, and I'm shuffling off camera because y'all don't want to see that. Okay, this guy came out. I am not going to read reversals. So here we go. We have fortune, okay, <laughs> which is quite literally the wheel of fortune. Mm, okay, guys. You got some good shit going on already. I could see it. So, we're just going to do this. All right, I don't know why I did this first. Look, number 41, transformation. We have, what is this? Dreams, number 39. Oh, boy. And we have number 44, universal love. Okay, so you got, look, and then we have wheel symbolism here too, right? It's like very interesting. Okay, so you guys are really on your path to success. Everything is in balance with you right now. I feel like you've mastered your physical realm environment in order to propel yourself onwards and upwards uh, into Lord of the Sky, okay? So, um... I represent a disciple of Uranus. I don't know. And yes, I say Uranus because it motherfucking tickles me. Anyway, so um, I am a disciple of Lord Uranus. And uh, he's also God of the sky, loosely translated. Don't quote me on it right now. This is not what this video is about. But basically, um, if any of you resonate with that, then you, uh, you might want to look more into that. Some of you might want to look into... Uh, your Uranus placement in your natal chart where you uh, and I have chart calculators in my description box F FYI but I feel like this is this is really important right now transformation dreams universal love like you are connected to all that is the divine supreme consciousness okay um so however you personally want to look at that energy the all universe 
source God, prime creator, then then that's something to look at. But I feel like a lot of you guys might be resonating with the energy of Uranus here. And this means that your intuition is on point right now. Uh, you might be having prophetic dreams. And this is really because you're ready to start this whole new uh, timeline experience on this journey. Then boom, what do we have here? Number 49, the infinite. So yeah, a lot of universal love and guidance is on your side. You are already on the right path. There is nothing to uh, fret over, and you have balanced things to progress along on your ethereal realm journey. I feel like you're already kind of thinking that your third dimensional physical reality is quite dusty. It's not really, not that it's not serving you, but you're bored of it, and you're ready to really step into your esoteric light body. And what's happening here is that... Um, as the transformation of consciousness uh, maneuvers from the third dimensional physical body to the light consciousness, 5D, all that is, blah, blah, blah. What's happening is that there is a mass awakening that's going on. So I feel like if you haven't found a lot of motherfuckers who are in your soul tribe, then you are going to come across a lot of them soon because you are connected to... Um, the divine consciousness, all that is, you are connected very, very clear. And I feel like you're about to be progressing forward. It's going to be like a slide. If you're familiar with the concepts of reality trans surfing, they talk about different ty types of slides and shit like that. Not going to get into that here, um, but it's food for thought. So you might want to look into reality trans surfing. It's a book. I forget the dude's name, but if you just look up book reality trans surfing, you will find it. And so I feel that might be relevant for some of you. Uh, with whom it resonates but yeah i'm feeling a lot a lot strong uranus energy here okay so um look to where uranus is in your natal chart you might but but <laughs> holy shit you might be a disciple of uranus listen i told you this reading was gonna get a little cray cray because i don't know what's going on so that's for some of you right so holy motherfucker the high priestess really you you motherfuckers are psychic i call everyone a motherfucker i mean this in this case that was a term of endearment so there you go but like i mean i'm a motherfucker too like everyone's a motherfucker who gives a fuck right it's a fucking word um it's like you know what i mean i feel like you're like that too okay this is why i'm picking up on your kind of energy you're kind of like blase you don't really get offended by things that like earthling ass motherfuckers would be offended by i feel like you're just kind of like okay man you want to call me that name all right you know it, it's like that's the kind of energy that i'm picking up for this group and i'm picking this up because you're already so spiritually advanced like holy shit like wow like this is it like you you've already created things that some motherfuckers in your third dimensional realm experience they might have looked at some of the things you created that you consciously created because you knew what the motherfuck you were doing when you fucking did it like some motherfuckers in your third dimensional realm experience are like holy shit like i feel like they're a little scared of you they might you might have been called a witch or a warlock or something of that nature some somewhere in your third dimensional experience and i feel like when you were first called that it was um you know they they referred uh you as that however the fuck you say okay i'm channeling fast i i have mercury third house i get tongue-tied okay my mind he move a faster than i speak so yeah so uh when you were called a witch or a warlock it was sort of like in a derogatory sense and this uh this motherfucker that called you that or something similar it doesn't have to be exactly that but something along those lines they called you that and i feel like the very first time you heard that it made you feel like oh shit like am i different from everyone else like um i feel that but i feel at the same time it also didn't bother you because you knew that they were calling you that name out of like jealousy because they their ego was rioting uh within them and it was showing them things that they too can attain and achieve whilst in the third dimensional physical vessel but their ego wanted to block them from attaining the level of consciousness that you had at that time that you were called a witch or a warlock and and i feel like with this is that you you carried that with you for whatever reason okay and like i said it's not like it bothered you because you were like hmm, well, i'm special i guess right like you know and you don't you don't guess you sound special i know right so i feel like that sort of shit went on and then but you still it made your ego because i feel like when this 
occurred, you weren't as uh, developed consciously as you are now. I feel like you, you know, you obviously were always evolving. Tomorrow you're going to be more conscious than you are right at this second, right? We, we all are. But um, I feel like you are, your consciousness sort of, it was like, wait, well, why am I different? And I feel that that's what I'm saying with this Uranus fucking energy, okay? So, yeah, Uranus Neptune, Uranus Moon. Uranus Mercury, if you want to look at that in your chart, I just, I, I don't know, I'm, that's what I'm getting for this group, a strong like, type of Uranian vibe. So I really feel like um, that's something that's being released right now because you're hearing this, you know, uh, you're hearing whatever the fuck this message is because, uh, like I told you, if you're, if you resonate with the symbol, you're ready to hear these messages. So I feel like you already know that, okay, but with this over here, like you already know, I mean... Thank you, universe. You see, it's like when we have cards like this, um, like that are just really resonating the the whole vibe of the energy that I'm getting. That's what I like to do here. That's 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 how we fucking roll here, right? So, anyway, with this, you already know who the motherfucker you are. I feel like at times, uh, you know, you did question how spiritually evolved and advanced you are compared to others. That's what I'm saying. Like you're kind of like. You're, you're more future oriented with this whole Uranian energy. And I feel like what you were doing like 20 years ago is just becoming popular now. And, um, you know, I feel like you, you, you're about to meet others who are really like minded because of the whole shift that's going on in the consciousness. Pardon me while I sip some water. Okay, so part of what, what this consciousness shift that's going on on Earth this time, as I said in the beginning, where, you know, we're progressing from the physical body and we're moving towards the light body of consciousness. So you're going to be predominantly operating more from your light body. That's why I feel like the physical realm just right now, you're just like, oh, like, like you motherfuckers are still doing this. Like, I, I've been there, done that over it on to the next thing. And I feel like you might be the introducer of wares. I don't know who that message is for, but it's for somebody. So there you go. Um, but I really feel like you already know who you are right now. And this is just your confirmation. This whole reading is your confirmation that you do have the magical abilities and the psychic abilities that you always knew that you, you possessed. Um, I feel like you might be still in the closet about your like psychic abilities and stuff like that. Just how deeply into this esotericism you are. Um, so look for, I, I, I don't know why this is coming up, but listen, you look into Uranus in your fucking chart, okay? Look into that bad boy. You might be having a significant transit to Uranus right now, okay? But um, I feel like you, you, this is just a confirmation that, you know, resonating with who you always knew you were, okay? You always knew you were different from other motherfuckers and... Um, at times you were like a little offended, like, but why the fuck would you think I want to do anything like you, right? Like you were a little offended by that, but at the same time you didn't care. You were just like, okay, whatever. Like you kind of like rolled your eyes, right? At people who doubted you. Um, but you really know who you are now and you've stepped into this, uh, big type of universal source energy. So I feel like right now is like a good moment for you, like, um, you're like primed and ready, okay? If you want to go into it even further, the universe had been grooming you, your higher self had been grooming you for whatever role that you're meant to fulfill right now at this lifetime. Like here, this is it. This is like the, the open motherfucking doorway, okay? You already know who the motherfuck you are, okay? So... Um, yeah, step through that doorway because now is the time because as soon as you step through the doorway, you're going to see how the motherfuck is, uh, stepping from their own doorways. And then this is like the, um, the congregation of Uranus. Okay. There are other congregations. I don't want to say that this is the only one, but this is the one that I personally resonate with. And so obviously I'm going to know how to fucking identify, you know, these motherfuckers, right? If I already know the energy. So, um, I feel like this is really like um, a, the discipleship of Uranus group. Okay, so <sighs> I am Oculus, the alien next door. We will chit chat again soon. What is up, group number three? Those of you that resonated with this lovely symbol here, no matter how you look at it, let's get into what messages are going on for you right now. So I'm just going to shuffle a wee bit off camera here. 
And then I do just want to tell you that um, for all of the readings, in case you watch all of them, I make the same announcement in, in, in the beginning. I'm not going to go by, oh, should I read a reversal or should I not? Should I choose this deck or should I choose that deck? This is just really about um, what the cards are instructing me to do. So I'm the messenger, motherfucker, you know? By the way, another thing that I want to say, I call everyone a motherfucker. You know, I, I used it here in a, as a term of endearment. But, you know, there are times I call motherfuckers a motherfucker because they're just a motherfucker. But, so, just letting you know that I like that word. It's fun. All right, so there we go. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Princess of Swords. Okay, wow. So I feel like you guys are also very blunt. Um, I feel like this is something that might be commented on. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Holy shit. Dreamer Queen. Gift of Reason. Yeah, this is like a fucking air. I don't know if this is a, a discipleship of Uranus group. Um... But we're going to find out the sun. I, I see universe. I knew that. Look at that. Dreamer queen. Okay. The sun. I felt the sun energy coming here. So um, you guys might have like uh, in your birth chart, like a fire air polarity going on a strong polarity. Like, for example, you might have uh, the sun in Aries, exact opposition, moon in Libra or something similar to that. Okay. So I feel like that, or it could be Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, whatever. But I feel like there's like a strong uh, pull somewhere in your natal chart regarding those. Um, also, we are in, ooh, thank you, universe. We also are in, as I'm filming this, this reading is timeless, but the energy is going to be the same for whenever the motherfucker you watch this. But uh, as I'm filming this, we are also in Aries season. The sun is in Aries. There is a uh, full moon in Libra coming up. So I feel like that is also very, very important. Something, uh, no matter when you watch this, something on the full moon in Libra while the sun is in Aries. Uh, this is the year 2021. Um, you know, in case, I don't know when you're going to see this, but something very magical uh, is going to happen something very very like life-changing and unique in a good way okay I really feel like something that uh, you've been seeking for a while is going to be made manifest into physical form uh, so you might want to check back to the date when the full moon uh, is in Libra while the sun is in Aries of 2021 okay that's just what I'm sensing here all right um, but if not, or both, it could be you have that polarity and activated fire, air, polarity, uh, check some transits. I don't know. That's some sensing for this group. Okay. So far. So let's see what other messages. I really feel like this might be a relationship reading probably more so than the others. I just want to get some clarity here. Um, so all right. Eight of energy, yeah, more fire energy. You had 10 of matter, okay. Yeah, something is moving in really swiftly, okay. So if you do happen to be watching this before the full moon of the Libra Aries axis, I really, um, you know, be ready. I mean, I don't know if I can even say be ready because I don't, I feel like it's something that you knew was going to happen for a while, but I feel like you, you've kind of been preparing for it. You already know it's going to happen. It's not something that you've been really, um, you've been blase about it's definitely not something that you've been blase about okay this is something that you felt coming you knew was coming and then now it has arrived in its physical form something of great pleasure great emotional fulfillment uh that piques your interest that you've been trying to conjure up in your uh, physical realm for a while you already know what this is okay so here we have, uh, yeah, two of wands. I mean, for those of you that resonate with the frequency of twin flame or like significant life partner, okay, definitely someone here. So let's find out what's going on because I was, I was sensing that it was a love reading, but I was like, let me let the cards guide me as I said I was going to. And so, yeah, all right. So I can't even, it, yo. Toss the mic down into the audience and walk away. Dominion. You dominate my fantasies. What is this? Mm. 
Thank you, universe. Okay, so, yeah, this is definitely about a love reading. Um, this could honestly be you trying to manifest someone else uh, because, you know, we, we're not, we don't know who is who, right? It could be one or both of you or it could be the two of you together, right? You dominate my fantasies. So you are about to step into this beautiful emotional experience with someone else. This person is really uh, going to be like a pivotal guide in your experience. This is going to be a very, very significant partnership, no matter what the two of you decide you want to create together. Okay, um, so I feel like you guys have already been enmeshed on the fifth dimensional plane. You guys are already... Like you feel this person, you already, I feel like you know the essence of this person, though you might not know them physically. Some of you might know them physically already or know of them physically, but um, this is definitely the type of energy, the type of um, you love vibrational experience that you've thought about for a while. Okay, so desires, I, I mean, you can't make this shit up. Okay, number 12, look. Look, and, and this, this, uh, this fellow here is, their arms are outstretched, okay? They're ready to receive you. They're beckoning you towards them, or this could be you. This person is calling for you. This person is beckoning to you. This could be you calling for them, beckoning to them, all right? So all of this, this is happening. I'm saying, I think some of you might have anniversaries on the full moon Libra while the sun is in Aries. I mean, this shit is real, okay? I don't know. Something's going on. Uh, one of you might be a fire sign. Uh, the other might be an air sign. Or there might be like a strong like fire air thing going on with your chart, their chart. Cosmic flower, number 18. I mean, look, this shit is budding. The universe is on your side. It's already grown. It's already existing on the fifth dimensional plane. And all you have to do is bring it towards you. That's all you have to do. This person is thinking about you too. They're desiring you too. And this is someone that I can say straight away, you feel the essence of them. You know the essence of them. If this is someone already in your physical realm experience... You know who they are, right? You know they're the one for you, okay? This is, that's what it is, all right? Number 44, shine your light. So this is really saying, just emit the greatest version of you that can be. Emit the greatest version of you. Because this person, that's how they're going to find you when you irradiate your essence of that which you are seeking, it's like a magnet. You and this motherfucker are like a magnet. Okay, look at this. The hanged man. I feel like you've already done so much like energetically to lure this person to you that all you have to do is just like be yourself and relax. That's like the main message that I'm getting with that. You've already done everything that you can possibly do in this situation. Now it's just time for you to be you and let shit unfold. Do not be deceived by false perceptions. Okay? This person, I feel like you might have had and for some of you take what resonates okay some of you might have had like an insecurity or a fear thinking that uh this person what would they want with me they're so sexy and charming xyz whatever trait you find about them okay or if you haven't met this person i feel like at least somewhere in your experience you had a false perception that like someone that you desired fully would never be interested in someone like you. And I feel like that was what was keeping you from this perfect partnership this whole time. You felt sort of like, well, they have it going on. Like, what about me? Like, what am I doing? You know? And I feel like, um, you might have thought, oh, they might find someone better or whatever the case. And I feel like this has gone on in the past and that's what's kind of disillusioned you. And you've worked through this, the sun, the sun. Did we have the sun? Yes, we did. 
Look at this. This is your confirmation. Everything is going to be okay. Thank you, universe. We have the sun twice. All right, so we do have a lot, a lot of fire energy here. <sighs> yeah, now is your time to shine. Just be you, this right person who's going to come to you or is on their way to you or you're going to arrive to them. However, that plays out, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. I feel like you need to just let your false illusions go and accept and take pleasure in the fact that this hot, sexy, smart, attractive, whatever qualities you fucking desire in a person, that they are reveling in you just the same. This person is equally balanced to you. If you think that you adore them too much, no, they adore you just as much, if not more. Like, this is like your perfect, this is your victory. Uh, this is your conquest on the third dimensional realm. This is their conquest uh, on the third dimensional realm, meaning you are their conquest on the third dimensional realm. Like, this this person, I mean, they're, they're just, I feel a lot of, like, sexual chemistry, especially, okay? So... I feel like for some of you, uh, you might be holding on to a situation with an ex, okay? Or if not, just like if you're over the person, you might not be over the situation. And I feel like that's sort of something that you've been struggling with, like why you thought XYZ relationship didn't work out or whatever. Um, that person also felt the same about you so it's not like you had a relationship that um wasn't reciprocal even though you might have thought it was um for some of you you might be receiving closure from a from a particular person remember I, i'm just calling out whatever messages i see we have number 10 dreamscape okay so i feel like you might be seeing or feeling this person in your dreams i feel like you're going to be having some a lot of like lusty dreams, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, okay? Uh, that's just what, what I'm sensing with this. You're just to be having a lot of like lusty dreams. You're going to be able to play out your dreams into physical realm reality, okay? So uh, this, I mean, again, we have, uh, we have the hanged man, yeah, down there. So another card of like just relaxing. So I feel like whatever you've done to try to better yourself to... Uh, you know, commit yourself to yourself. It's been working. All you had to do is just relax because this perfect partnership that you are manifesting, this person is manifesting you as well. And they are your dream person. Okay. Uh, and you are their dream person. And look at this. You've set up your personal boundaries. You know what works for you and what doesn't. Heart chakra, okay? So, yeah, the, I mean, if we could just sum up a love reading, all right? Um, some of you might have, like, been very devastated from past relationships or whatever the case, or you thought that the other person didn't care in, in the previous relationship, or, you know, even if this is an ex and you want to invite them back into your experience, this is just saying that they felt that way too is equally balanced so for some of you if you want to move forward with a particular ex it might be that you're going to receive closure on whatever past issue was disillusioning you regarding that connection and you are going to get to decide if you want to proceed with them or not but for the majority of you i feel like it was just a lot of emotional baggage that you had going on and they were false perceptions uh it was your ego mind trying to play tricks on you saying well you know trying to tempt you and bait you saying well this person is so amazing in every way what the fuck would they want to do with you because i feel like you haven't experienced um a whole buttload of amazing relationships okay or even if you have i feel like this one particular relationship like just stood out to you that you were like what the fuck was that like and and part of you was thinking you know like what did you do to fucking deserve that okay um but that you're gonna get closure on whatever situation caused you emotional pain and drama in the past and you cannot make this shit up thank you universe i love it this is what oh my god look we got the sun twice we got the hanged man twice Holy shit. So there you go. You need to just chill. Now we have three cards on the board, okay, that indicate, like, just relaxing. All right? So if you want to look at things from another perspective, um, that person who, you know, caused this emotional scar or whatever the case, 
man, they are, like, you're going to be able to see closure with that issue. Like, whether they contact you themselves, you hear it through the grapevine, whether you physically see something play out, like, you're going to get your closure, okay? But you just need to relax, and I feel like that closure is just going to bring you peace and harmony into this new relationship whether it's a renewed relationship with this previous person i don't know because this is a general reading like every everyone's thing is going to be different here their story you know um but i feel like if someone has walked on you in the past in like a relationship standpoint you are going to get closure on that and that's going to free up your energy to embrace this new partnership for this wonderful relationship that is awaiting you now for, for your dream partner who's beckoning to you right now. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to close it off here. I feel like you've already done enough in this situation. And like now all you have to do, either which way, whether it's you waiting to get closure or you waiting to be in a relationship, you don't need to do anything more from here on out. You're, it's done it's already done okay the deal has been sealed this person is beckoning to you be you shine your light let yourself be seen let yourself be noticed accept compliments okay all of that stuff because that is how your person is gonna recognize you it's like a beacon like you know because you're radiating and then so they're gonna try to go towards the heat you know what i mean so that's what i got for you guys i'm oculus the alien next door we will chit chat again soon